Yeah. So I can't imagine what that costs to get through. Oh yeah, no, I, I got I got a friend of a uh, client that was going along very well and yeah. cost a lot of money, but yeah. he's, he's declined. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine getting it out of there. It's only supposed to be a loan for two years. I mean, it's still, you know, take it all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So within the industry, this has become, within my industry, this has become quite a famous piece or wearing mob dark, it's, you know, it's something that... And that's got to be the best version of it as well, I bet it is. Change, parts that have altered slightly. Like you said, the whole piece was put together like a jigsaw. And a single square inch of that piece is packed. I'd say the background is actually more packed in as much as humanly possible within the boundaries of what Jim wants to do. Right. And so do, you, do you go to the gym as well? Uh, no. What happens when you get a tan with that? The tan, well, it's one of them things. UV is the only thing that will break down a tattoo. Right. So we always. Is that yeah. Scene? Yeah. I it's am impressed with it. Going, is. You know, it's, it looks really nice to look at because when yes. they want to work. Big up and dark, don't they? And yeah. then, you know, the dark no. arts and things. To, to do this but in the way of like a, rena a Renaissance painting, like you say. Artwork, I mean, you're expressing the artwork as well as the. Uh, because now he's just. You know, he's a putting. Yeah. No, it's yeah. alright, it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you can you even see, see the shading with it, how he faded it out as well. Well, imagine if it was an artwork, I mean, you're expressing the artwork as well as the... Because uh, now he's putting... You've got to compliment yeah. the body and the shape as well. And as you can see, quite clearly now, it's, uh, it's, there's a lot of, a lot of shapes. It's, I'm running out of space, where do I go next? But yeah, absolutely over the moon. I mean, I still look at the video of it because obviously I can't look at it directly. But I still look at videos of it, I still get compliments off other fans from different, you know, not just United fans, but City fans, Liverpool fans. Don't think I've had a Leeds one yet, and I don't expect to, but <laughs> yeah, just generally just, yeah, I'm ecstatic. I mean, that, that meant an absolute world, because yeah. I'd just seen the comment, and I was just about to say, Johnny, have you seen this? I was just about to text him, and then he sent me a screenshot saying, look, Eric, Eric likes it as well. And I was like, this is... This is golden, this is absolutely golden because obviously he's an idol. Yeah. For an idol of yours to appreciate something you've got, that is, I can't put that into words. That's just, yeah, it was emotional. I was like, this is brilliant. It's and it was a daunting piece to do in the first place, as you can see that they, they're, every square inch of it is packed with detail, you know, from the background to the foreground to the faces. So it was one of them where thankfully I was aware it was coming up so I had to study the image quite a lot before I took it on. And then to take it from a flat canvas to a curved back and to complement the body and the shape and the figure was another task in itself. You know, we, when, we, when we put up the final piece, we got in touch with, the, with Michael and we showed him that we wanted to get his... I wanted, as an artist myself, I wanted to get his blessing on this piece that I'd done because I was proud of it, but he might not have been. And, and to come here today with him and speak to him and, and literally com compare notes of how we've both done the piece from start to finish. It's obviously, this is in oils and mine's on skin and it's interesting how we both tackled it and how we, we went about it, but it's been... It's been awesome to talk to him today. I had no idea. I was completely shocked because oh, it's on my Facebook page. Some one of my one of my friends sort of like told me someone was doing this work a few months ago, and it was nearly finished. And I had no idea. I thought this is amazing. So I put my Facebook page, you know, and uh, then uh, then I got in touch with Jamie because that was the name of the person who had it on his back. And and I thought and we sort of like yeah, let's do something about this. You know, the painting in the football museum. Can you get all of the tattoos, etc. And you know and let's see if we can get a photo shoot with the painting because it looks really good, it was a great tattoo. So um, it was totally by, by chance and he'd been working on this for, you know, he'll, he'll tell you himself, but you know, for years. So um, uh, when that happened, I was like, you know, it's like a, a subculture, it's brilliant. That's, you know, art imitating life, sorry, life imitating art, and it goes round and round and 